Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we're doing something a little bit different than usual. Today we're talking about subscription boxes that I miss that no longer exist on the market. Now I've been doing subscription box unboxings on this channel since August of 2018 and was unboxing subscriptions before that, just not for YouTube, just for myself, I guess. Now recently I did a video talking about how I feel about the current state of subscription boxes. And in doing that and, and thinking and reflecting, I thought a lot about some of the subscription boxes that used to be around. I do think that some of the boxes used to be better and there used to be some really awesome subscription boxes out there. And I was like, you know what? Let's do a video where I talk about like the five subscription boxes that I miss the most that no longer exist. Now, if you're a newer person to the subscription box world, these probably won't, you probably won't really know what these are, but I'll definitely talk about them here on my channel. If you've been unboxing for a while, hopefully this will be kind of like a little nostalgic thing where you get to be like, ah, oh, I remember that box and things like that. Now, I have unboxed all of the boxes that I'll talk about today on my channel. Um, so if you type in the na box name and sub box level in the search bar, you can find and pick which one you'd prefer because it's like some of them are like 2018, 2019. I think there's some 2020 for some of these. So just FYI, the 2018 and some of the 2019 ones are gonna be a little bit cringe because my channel has come a long way. I've come a long way as presenting information. So I went back and watched like a few of these as I was preparing for the video and I'm like, oh my gosh, I've come a long way. It's a nice thing to see that, but just FYI, might be a little cringe. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Katrina and I am a sub box lover. I love to share subscription boxes with all of you sub box lovers out there. So if you like subscription boxes, unboxing videos, things like that, go ahead and subscribe and join this sub box lover family. And without further ado, let's jump into the five subscription boxes. Subscription boxes that I miss. This is gonna be fun. Now the first subscription box that I really miss is the Degusta box. Now if you don't remember Degusta box, it was a monthly food subscription. It was like $21, $25 a month, and you just got a big box full of food. And when I say food, it wasn't just snacks. So there were things like snacks, but there were sauces, pastas, drinks, meal kit type of things. It had like everything inside. And there, I don't think there's a box like that on the market. If there is, definitely let me know because I would subscribe to it. Um, but I just loved it. Now, did I always love every single item in the box? No, I did feel like some of the stuff sat in my pantry, but I also feel like it got me out of my comfort zone. And for that price point and the amount of food you got, it felt like it was really worth its money because you did get a pretty like big sized box. I remember watching like, I would like binge watch Abadab's unboxing the <laughs> that box and I was like, I really want it. And so I finally got it. And I really, really loved that box. Now the box still does exist but not in the US. So if you're in the UK, and in Dutch side, if you're German, um, they have it there. Um, France, I think, has it. Spain has it. I don't know. There might be some other countries. But if you live in those countries, it still exists. So definitely check it out because I love it. And I sometimes watch the um, German <laughs> Degusta Box unboxing videos like for some of those YouTubers because I just love to see that. Um, but yeah, I definitely wish it was still around. So if you do know a box that's like that, Definitely let me know down in the comments below. The next box that I really miss is the Pop Sugar Must Have box. Um, this one was like a quarterly lifestyle subscription, very similar to a FabFitFun or an Altru. Um, and it was, I think, $75 a quarter. If you paid annually, it was like cheaper. And it was like pretty much the same thing as FabFitFun. But what I liked about their box is that I felt like it was very well curated. Did I love everything? No, you never will. But I felt like the color scheme of the box like all went together. So like if you put all the pieces together, they look like they made sense. I feel like nowadays a lot of the subscription boxes, everything just feels really random and the curation's really random. But like that one felt purposeful, even though you had some choice products and things like that. Um, I personally really liked that box. The other thing that was really cool about that one is that they would always have like free samples or not even like samples, but products in it that didn't count towards the value of the box. So you had like your five products or whatever it was, and then you'd get extras. And for a lot of the boxes, they had like the best extras. Like I think you got a pair of sunglasses once, like you sometimes got like full size products as like a freebie in the box. So it just made the value feel like a lot more fun. I remember their boxes used to be really nice too. They had like the magnetic closure and everything. They did change that to be more of like the corrugated cardboard or like the recyclable kind trying to, you know, get with the times. But 
I really liked <laughs> the pop sugar must have. I know that sometimes people didn't like it because if you have a multiple, like everyone, you always compared that one to FabFitFun. Like they would, like you'd always compare it just the way it is. So I don't know, I miss that. I don't know if I miss it because it's nostalgic, but I do remember like watching a lot of other YouTubers unboxing it and like getting excited about it before I had my channel and everything. So you can definitely see me unbox it. Same with the Degusta, same with all of these, like I said, but really did enjoy that box when it did exist. The next box that I really miss still exists, but it's different. And that is the Lavish Bath Box. Now, Lavish Bath Box is now a quarterly bath subscription. I think it's like $85, but with shipping, it's basically $100 every quarter, and you get like eight products inside. And I'm just not sure the value is totally there anymore. Now, it does help support small like bath product companies, like smaller businesses that hand make these things. So that probably makes it the value worth it. But I feel like in their quarterly box, they have more like lifestyle stuff, but I miss their monthly subscription. Their monthly subscription was so good. It was like 45 or $50 a month. And you get like five bath products inside, bath bombs, bubble bars, lotions, like anything related to the bath and or shower. But their themes were so good. I remember that one of my favorites was the jungle theme and it like had like, um, I think it had like a monkey bath bomb and like everything was so themed. And when I say themed, it's not like, oh, it's like Christmas and like it like has a cinnamon thing or whatever. And it, it was like, it looked like it. Like because bath bombs are decorative sometimes and visual, like it really looked like the theme and that was just so much fun. I think my favorite box ever was my very very first one and it was like the March box it was St. Patrick's Day themed and it had like leprechaun stuff and like gold and shamrock like it was like so on theme I loved it so much and they had some of the prettiest bath bombs like hand painted like really nice made from small companies who hand make them all across the US so really really love that um, so I do miss the monthly box they've gone quarterly now if you're interested um, I don't know if it's still worth it. They do have a brick and mortar store and I think that's probably where they focus a lot of their attention now, but I like get nostalgic about that box. I really, really do miss that box. Now, if you are looking for a monthly bath subscription, definitely check out Bath Bevy. Love that bath box. She makes most of the products herself, whereas like with Lavish, they have them from other companies, but I do really love the um, Bath Bevy boxes in case you're interested in signing up. They also do have a tubless version. So if you don't have a tub and you want shower type of products, that's a great box to check out. The next box that I really miss, I don't think a lot of other people will, will miss, and that is the Play by Sephora box. Now, Play by Sephora was a monthly sample size subscription by Sephora where you get like five sample size products for maybe, it was, I think it was maybe $10 a month, something like that. And they were like the idiotiest, bittiest samples on the planet. But I miss it because that was my very first subscription box. So there's something really nostalgic about that. Like, uh, that was my first subscription box. I was still in college. I don't think I was working at the time or I had just started working, so I didn't have any money. Like, and so to have this tiny little sample of like a, like a Sephora brand, not Sephora brand, but you know, like a Bare Minerals or like, well, did they even carry that at the time? I don't know, but like Urban Decay or like those type of brands was like so exciting because I would have never been able to afford that. So just to have that little sample was like the most exciting thing in the world. And I just remember being so excited about that box. Um, I think I like subscribed and unsubscribed and subscribed back like a couple different times, but you can see those videos on my channel. Now, I think it probably did need to end because it wasn't great anymore, but... I feel like Sephora and or Ulta could have like some of the best subscription boxes I don't know if it would, they would care to do it, but like I feel like they could because they have all these relationships with all of these brands and I just feel like they could have really, really awesome subscriptions if they started to include like full size or if it was a mix of full size and sample size. Like I genuinely feel like they could have amazing subscription boxes. Who knows, maybe one day, probably not because the Play by Sephora thing didn't really work, but still, um, I still miss it just because like that was the my first box. That, that, let me know, what was your first subscription box down in the comments below? I would love to hear that. All right, last but not least, the subscription box that I also miss is this is the probably the most recent one, and that was Good Vibe Scribe. Now, this was the only box out of all of those that I didn't pay for. Like, Good Vibe Scribe was sent to me free for review, and I think they went out of business during the pandemic. I like, they just stopped sending me their box, and I like tried to find them, and like the website's gone. Um, but I really like their box. It came, it was like a monthly lifestyle subscription, somewhere around $50 a month. And you got products from like um, small businesses and like the good vibes, it had like good causes and things like that. And you're su supporting smaller businesses. And I like that box because I never knew it was gonna come in it. It was always like a big surprise. I feel like subscription boxes nowadays, 
are very predictable. It's like you kind of know what you're going to get. And that was a box where it was like, I don't really know what I'm going to get. And that's really exciting. Um, they did have like a premium subscription where you did get to make some choices for like scents or colors for some of the, the products. Since it was sent to me, I didn't get to do that. But I don't know. I got excited to unbox that one because it was like less boring than some of the other boxes I get. Not that all my boxes are boring, but it's like when you unbox a lot of boxes, it's like it's fun to have something that becomes exciting again. And for me, Good Vibe Scribe was one of those boxes. So those are my five subscription boxes that I really miss, nostalgic about, that do not exist anymore. Um, what boxes do you miss? If you've been around for a while and you've been unboxing subscription boxes for a while, definitely let me know down in the comments below what subscription boxes do you miss that don't exist anymore. I would definitely love to hear that. Also would love to hear what your first, very first subscription box that you ever got was. That'd be really cool. Um, if you know, like, if you know a replacement to Gusta Box, let me know down in the comments below. Like, Universal Yums is not a replacement because that's just, like, snacks. But, like, a food box that has lots of cool things, like, I just love that. I don't know. That's just so fun. So if you know one, definitely let me know down in the comments below. Also, we're in a new year. It's January and it's 2022. Let me know what subscription boxes you would like to see on my channel that I'm not currently unboxing. I would love to add a few more to the mix. Um... So let me know which ones you'd be interested in me kind of sharing with the channel. I would love to hear that. Um, I'll probably ask it in a couple of their videos, but definitely let me know down in the comments below. I'm asking a lot in the comments. It's not a homework assignment, but like I'm genuinely really interested in the answers to all of my questions, which were, what subscription boxes do you miss that no longer exist? Uh, what subscription boxes exist? No. <laughs> what subscription boxes do you miss that no longer exist? What was your very first subscription box that you ever got? And what subscription boxes do you want to see on my channel that I'm not currently unboxing? Would love to hear all those things down in the comments below. Did you like this video? Do you like these kind of videos? I want to try to maybe incorporate more videos like this or my other one, my other video that I did recently on how I feel about subscription boxes. So if you have any ideas on that, you know, let me know down in the comments below and also let me know if you like these videos and I will see you in my next video.